Joseph Clyda for AscensionPathway.com on the Evan Fane YouTube channel bringing you another episode of grid work geoengineering on a daily basis I'd like to say good morning to you but you can see in the sky already it's only 1030 look at this gargantuan plume that this guy had spawned and left look at this so I bring it back this way you can see the X marks the grid work look how thick that is you got all the wisps up here already it's just absolutely criminal what they're doing here. Finned work everywhere. Sun, white, yellow ring. And the guy spraying up here. Look at that. They're just not going to stop. Ever. Well, I'm in the great wide open. Here's that X that we saw before, the par portion of the grid. All right, here's this guy spraying way back there that we caught earlier. He just went through the heart of that grid. And here's another guy up here spraying as he heads to that poor portion of the grid as well. See, they're just gonna build up that friggin' grid to, oh my gosh, it's getting really hard to take. This is every day, people, every day this is happening. Just look up and see. The whole sky is completely covered in chemtrail soot to some degree. They got the whole thing all domed up to block the vitamin D3 content to make you ill. What part of that don't you get? Look, there's a guy spraying over there in the southern sector. Got over here, look how they're blocking the sunlight over there, okay? Over here in the eastern sector, all plume all across the horizon. The whole sky is completely gray dome. It might look blue to you, but it's really not. They're going to have this whole sky covered up in plume. And there's the sky here as he crosses the grid. Where is he? He just crossed that freaking grid. Where is he? Yeah, in any event, you can see how notorious and disastrous and criminal everything is. Look at this. Well, it's about 11 a.m. and we got our sights on a red bad boy. Spraying some nasty plume out of that back tail fin. Look at that rail. And we know where he's headed. He's headed to that existing plume. He's right up there just, you know, expanding the plume from what it already is, which you can see, gray-blue. Rails everywhere. Look at the rails. And here's that big rail we saw before. First, I'll take you to the trees. And then up over the trees, look how that son of a bitch has dispersed. Look at the double rails there. So they X'd it right by the sun. I'm not going to go into the sunlight because it's just kind of blinding with all that aluminum particles reflecting. But you can see what they're doing. They're blocking the vitamin D3 content, blocking the sunlight, poisoning us down. There's three answers right there. I mean, what part of that don't people get? Look at the nasty. Oh, God, look at the nasty. Them red bad boys ought to be shot. As the plume continues to spew, our Earth continues to get destroyed here with no plume. How does that happen? How does that happen? And look how he's flying on an angle up like that. Come on. Passenger jet? Looks like a red tail. Visible plume at best. He's going too slow. Get a look at him. Look how slow he's going. Planes go faster than that. Just to let you know how notorious these red bad boys are. Look, he crossed the grid there. Okay, you see the grid? Okay, now watch him. He spun it and he's turning to head for another grid line. That damn red bad boy. Look at that turn. See the turn there? Jets don't do that. Not like that. Not that low, not with plume. Look at the line he made. Look at the line this guy had made. <laughs> You're getting the picture yet. Here comes another guy, right upstream here. It's just going to be a non-stop assault. I haven't even looked at the weather report yet. Here's a better view of that same guy. Looks like a silver bullet. Look at the rail. It's 
So I pan off this guy, bring it down over here, and we got another guy in the horizon back here spraying. I'll bring him in for you. You'll see him. There he is. See? So it's just one, two, three, four, making the rails. Oh, jeez. Damn, it's just never going to stop. Look at this guy spraying some plume. Look at that friggin' plume. Continuing to blow our skies up with plume. Look at the rail. All the way across, dissipates. Now look at this guy here coming. All right, he's gonna cross the rail there to continue the grid work. See the X marks the spot. There he goes. Continuing to plume up these friggin' skies of ours. And people don't really give a shit. How can you not care? Look over here. Another guy spraying in that back horizon there. See him back in there? Somewhere in there. Let's see if I can get him on the other side of the tree. He should be coming around here somewhere. Yeah, I lost him. In the event, look what they're look what's going on. Plume up here. The whole sky's just been plumed. Look at this fin. Look at these hairy fins. We got a guy up here spraying over top as well. God dang. One right after the other. It's funny to talk to people around town. They don't have a clue. They think this is all normal activity. Normal activity. <laughs> There's a satellite weather report. You saw what they were brewing. We showed you with the weather reports before. First of all, we're gonna to go to that storm now, hit through here, now look at it. They chemtrail it over, so it hits these other states. See how they chemtrail, look at that line across there. It's just too perfect of a grid. Look, it's too perfect. Look how they swirl that rain, and that's where you get those jets that are spinning the rails, where they turn it. Look, these poor people don't have a friggin' clue. Little hole in the grid there, that'll all be filled in. The whole country is almost completely plumed except for a little bit of Texas and some Oklahoma and Arkansas and a little bit of uh, Louisiana. Look at Arizona, completely chemtrailed. Oh, jeez. Come on, people. Look at Canada. It almost makes you want to cry because we know what they're doing. And this is how dumbed down the American public is. The ever popular weather channel on TV, look at this. They say that we're going to have in our, my area sunny skies from 12 o'clock all the way through. It's anything but sunny. Sure, the sun is out, but they don't tell you about the chemtrail plume. People need to start asking questions. This has gotten out of hand. Well, it's 12 noon, they're still spraying. It's just not stopping until I make sure the vitamin D content it does not get to you. They don't want you to have any vitamin D3. That looks like a red bad boy. Look at the friggin' plume this guy's spraying. Look at the rail. Look at the length of that rail. All day long these guys have been spraying. Look at that. Take it to it. Look at that friggin' rail. Oh, God dang. Call the police. Do something. We can't allow this to happen. This is criminal. This is killing. This is murder. On a universal scale. Well, we got ourselves another red bad boy at 12 o'clock. The spraying continues. People say, look at it. It looks like a funny configuration, but the red bad boy nonetheless. Look at the plume. Look at that friggin' plume. All the way down the horizon. Jeez! That thing's gonna disperse into a mega plume. Look at that. You can see it coming out of that back tail fin. Oh yeah, look at that. They just crossed the rails right there. Again, see how what they're doing? It's so freaking obvious and yet nobody seems to have a clue. At least not around in these parts. 
And you can see what else he did. He laced that rail, that red bad boy laced that rail within the existing plume. Just to build up that plume even more. Wow. Let's get a better look at this guy. Yeah, he's a silver bullet. I just want to show you how the disbursement of the plume just adds to the existing plume that's already there. See how it's all mixing? It looks just like that. Okay, that's all plume. Gonna mess the other guy's rail where they crossed. You can see where the two were eventually crossed. It's just absolutely criminal activity. And these geoengineers, David Keith, Caldera. Now you can see how the chemtrails affect the sunlight. See how they crisscross the rails? And then right over the sun. Sun, white, should be yellow, completely yellow, not just with the yellow ring. People have accepted this white sun. Oh my gosh, look at this friggin' tanker that just moved up the way. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, look at the plume this guy's spraying. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get up and get a better shot of this guy. Get a better look at this tanker. Just look how nasty, notorious, criminal, we're diabolical. Look at the four plumes coming out of that. Oh my gosh. Just get a good look, people. Get a good look, okay? Get a damn good look. Look at the friggin' plume coming out of that thing. Let me show you the plumes. Oh, God, is that ever nasty. Oh, yeah. Look at a little curly cue there. See that? How to camp that? There goes the contrail theory again, but we've already disproved that. Look at the little curly cues. Chain link effect. The chain link effect off that tanker. Look at the chain link effect. Oh my gosh. Look! It's happening right before your eyes. Look at this. They're destroying the fabric of the DNA of our atmosphere. And right where that tanker is at, you can see another smaller jet adding a different plume as they cross the mark. See him coming that way? And there he goes. Just to mix it up. <laughs> I just walked away for a couple minutes and then we got this guy spinning this rail. It's only 12.30 in the afternoon, for heaven's sakes. And how many, how many tons of plume have this guy, these guys have sprayed so far today? Now you know why the sunset looks like it does in the east. I'm sorry, you're that dumbed down? Sunsets don't set in the east. At least not yet. But all the chemical plumes will make you think it did. Just look at the disbursement of these rails. Oh, gee. Wow. The whole sky. Look at this guy's got a rail back in there as well. Whole sky. Almost gray plumed. It's not even blue anymore. It's a gray blue. It makes the sun white. We try to make this show educational. We're trying to explain to the people who are still so dumbed down by the GMO and the fluoride, all the toxicity that these chemtrails have to offer as well. Look at the plume there. As I back it off over here, you can see the prime example of what I've been trying to tell you. See the two where the two rails meet? And look how the guy turned it. Just to make that X. And that disperses into a big plume. You do enough of those, you got yourself a cloudoid. All I have to do is turn around, I got another SOB spraying. Intermediate mix, you can see the different mixes that they're spraying. These are all the same mission, these aren't passenger jets by any shape or form. And you may think they are, but they're not. They're way too low, and they're spraying plume at too slow of a velocity. So, and they're not ice crystals like some idiots would say. I definitely feel that they're not going to stop today. 
you can see how fake the Weather Channel report is. Your local newscast, dude, they're probably calling for overcast. I haven't even looked at it. It's so ridiculous. But look at this rail. Look how long. They've all been real long today. All the way back to the back horizon. Horizon, horizon. Chemtrail plume. Destroying our planet. Check out this southern horizon. We got a triple effect there. Look at the three rails into one. <laughs> and if people still think these are clouds, I mean, when did you ever see a cloud like that? Come on. <laughs> I hate to laugh and make fun of you people. Not the people that watch my videos. You guys are well informed. Make that clear. Now, I'm grateful that you watch the videos and tell your friends and share the videos as often as you can. Here's a little teaser of a chem trailer spraying some plume. And he's going hand in hand with this guy who just laced this rail right here. Across the sun again. Uh, haven't we had enough? Look how close he is to that sun. And then he spun it. I'm going to get right up on here. And he spun it all the way down. See? Still going at it. 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, it's just about 3 o'clock. We still got a few chem trailers in the sky. But like I said before, one of the missions is to block the vitamin D3 content from the sun. As you can see, they got the sky pretty well grayed up with plume. There's still some blue as it all blows over or falls to the ground or in your lungs and up your nostrils where those aluminum particles. Oh man, as soon as I say that, look at this. We got another guy up there spraying. And when I say guy, these are all remote control drones now. Air Force has already admitted to they got, you know, drones. They've admitted to the remote controls to take the pilots out of the mix. I think I spoke too soon here. We got another guy spraying a nasty rail. So now phase two where we just keep the sky all covered up. So you forget that the sky was once blue, dark, pristine blue, not this gray blue or green blue, sunset colors in the opposite horizon. I mean, haven't the people have had enough? Aren't you even curious have any questions? My God, people, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but you people need to wake up. Start complaining, look at that plume. Well, it's about 3.30, we got another guy spraying up here. Silver bullet, unsymmetrical plume, see that? You can see the one on the right side? It's coming out, look at that. It's coming out different than the left side. And if you look at the top of the jet, it would be the left side over the right side. But we're looking up from upside down. Blue bottom, silver bullet, it looks like. And look at that unsymmetrical plume. All right, you disbelievers, how do you explain that? Huh? How do you explain that unsymmetrical plume? I'm going to back it off, show you the length of the rail. Oh, yeah, all the way back. Well, it's about 4 o'clock. I'm getting ready to head in for my workout, and you can see that eastern sector is pretty blue. So I pan into the northern sector, blue. So I pan into that northwestern sector, a little bit of haze in the background. So I pan into that western sector, you can see what's going on. There's still got a buildup of the grid to block that sunlight. So I pan all the way around to the south. So again, they did exactly what I said. They sprayed to block the vitamin D3 content. It's one of their main agendas. Destroying the earth is another agenda. Destroying us is another agenda. Destroying all life on this planet is their main agenda. It's six o'clock on Wednesday evening. And look what we still got in the sky as they continue to spray. Looks like one of those drones again. They always come out later. Look at the plume spewing out of that. But the point being here, again, you can see the soot in the background. This all was white. It's now grayish black. Have a good night, people.